Now look, before I get my head ripped off, I want to base this on the premise of I don't really think MK11 is the best fighting game in the world. I don't even think it's in the top 30 of Mortal Kombat games ever made, and there's not even 30 Mortal Kombat games. Now, here's the problem when it comes down to it. Okay, we're gonna get into a lot of the things surrounding DLC and everything else. I really have to preface this with, yes, I cover news. So I make videos about new DLC coming, new characters, possible characters, and everything else. I really just like talking about fighting games, talking about the possibility of different characters and how they could uh, potentially impact the game that I am currently the most interested in, which when I started this YouTube channel happened to be Mortal Kombat 11. And now I'm kind of stuck in that. Not saying that I don't like Mortal Kombat, uh, but you, every every game, especially every fighting game, uh, gets to a point in its life cycle where it's like, God damn, they need to either put out a new game or give this game an entire rework. Which is kind of what Dragon Ball Fighters has done and what Street Fighter even did with, I think, Season 4 or uh, Season 3. And that is something that Mortal Kombat 11 tried to do and failed at. So yeah, I want to preface all of this with that. Now, to the title, to the uh thought provoking and click grasping title uh combat pack 3 is not that important combat pack 3 is not important whatsoever because combat pack 3 at this point is not saving mortal kombat 11 mortal kombat 11 is a game that needs to die mortal kombat 11 is already almost dead uh, and you can see that in the player drop, you can see that in the competitive tournaments drop. Yes, Destroyer's still doing his thing. Yes, there are other tournaments here and there. Yes, Outworld is currently rocking it. But at the same time, there are nowhere near the amount of entries that there were uh, even three months ago, four months ago when Combat Pack 2 was announced. I think what really put the nail in the head for World Combat 11 is the fact that Combat Pack 2 was not that good. Rambo was a very generic character, uh, not that good. <laughs> Rain was a very unique character and good, uh, decent at least, but he gets very boring fast. And Melina is just like bottom three. Don't don't even at me. Like Melina is not a good character in Mortal Kombat 11. These characters were very stale. These characters were not the best uh, design characters. Uh, and at first glance, uh, on first playthrough for the first two weeks, it's like wow, these characters are actually pretty fun. But as you start to, you know, get past the honeymoon phase and everything else, you start to see, wow, these characters are even more limited than the base roster characters of Mortal Kombat 11, and those characters are already heavily limited to, compared to a fighting game, like any other fighting game. And uh, I think everybody thinks that Combat Pack 3 is going to save this game. Everybody thinks that all, all we need to make MK11 fun again and to bring interest back to MK11 is a Combat Pack 3. And that is not true at all. What we need to bring interest back to Mortal Kombat 11 is the next fighting game so everybody can then reminisce about the good old days of Mortal Kombat 11 even though it's not true whatsoever and that happened with MKX and I don't know why. Combat Pack 3 has a very good chance to not be that good. It has a very good chance to have a few characters that we actually should see in Mortal Kombat but it has an even better chance to actually like just completely flop in my opinion. Combat Pack 2, again, was not that good. Mortal Kombat 11 has had a lot of design problems, and we're seeing them in full force now, even in the games like Dead Zone, right? So, like, Shiva is currently running online and stomping people. I, I don't know if I've actually said this on a video or not recently, but I refuse to play this game until a balance patch comes. Nothing is saving this game at, the, at this point. They're nerfing characters and buffing characters uh, by nerfing them. Like, they nerfed Shiva's stomp and they buffed it in turn, uh, messing with the frames in a way that I guess they didn't know what they were doing, even though they've been doing this for some odd years. Now, this video might come off as a hit piece on uh, NetherRealm and Mortal Kombat. It's not. I love Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is actually, alongside Marvel vs. Capcom, my favorite fighting game franchise ever. I love Mortal Kombat, and Justice 2 got me into the competitive scene for fighting games, and I don't regret playing these games or spending money on them at all. I don't regret spending any of the money on Mortal Kombat 11 that I have, but Mortal Kombat, obviously, to 90% of this community, ain't it. It's not 
a very well designed fighting game and every shot that they take uh, while trying to fix it and make it more fun and more accessible is just constant misfire after misfire after misfire. The reason why I say Combat Pack 3 is not important whatsoever is because Combat Pack 3 is not going to save the design of this game, right? Just because they add Combat Pack 3 into the game, that doesn't mean all of the characters are automatically going to be balanced and they're going to take away the 13 options on Wake Up. They're going to fix Fatal Blow to where when you whiff it, you lose it completely for the rest of the round. Uh, they're going to fix frame data and make plus shit actually plus and unsafe shit actually unsafe you know it's not going to do any of that that would take too much time and too much work and the groundwork is already laid and a company like a parent company like wb is not going to let them do all of that work the most that they could have done for us to try and save this game is customs and i don't think customs did exactly what they wanted it to do because all it did was break a bunch of other characters to the point for me as a person who does like unga bunga bullshit in a fighting game but not unfair unga bunga bullshit in a fighting game uh it made the game pretty much unplayable for me i haven't played mk11 in over two weeks and i don't plan on picking it back up whatsoever until combat pack 3 comes out or until a balance patch uh comes out that completely nerfs and destroys some of these characters uh, that are brain dead running the online right now. It's just, it's not something that I want to put myself through trying to enjoy a game that is impossible to enjoy at any type of competitive, competitive level at this point. So yes, Combat Pack 3 is not important whatsoever. It's not important that we get a Combat Pack 3. It's not important that we don't get a Combat Pack 3. Hell, at this point, if I'm being completely honest, I'd rather not get a Combat Pack 3 and move into Injustice 3 or a Marvel fighting game, whatever the hell they got planned next. I'm ready to see see Mortal Kombat 11 be put in the past. MKX wasn't the best designed fighting game either. It was the complete opposite. It was brain dead mix up, uh, but at least it had heart and at least it was fun. Yes, when you were on the receiving end of the mix, you hated life and you wanted to put your fucking butt cheeks to a wall. Uh, but at least when you were given that mix and once you started to get the mix down and figure out how to block a little bit at least, you could have a lot of fun on the game. MK11 is just stale and boring and broken neutral. And uh, in my opinion, I really do think we need to move on to the next game to keep the community that MK11 has built alive and thriving. We've already lost some of that community that the casual, uh, the casual design behind MK11 actually was able to bring in and turn into kind of kind of mold into the FGC. We're already losing some of these people, and uh, I think we need to move on to the next game that is designed the way a fighting game should be uh, to pull them back in and actually show them how much fun a real fighting game can be. That's just my opinion. I know NetherRealm is going to hate me and never work with me whatsoever, but I'm a fighting game fan, man, and I'm a fan of of fun fighting games and balanced fighting games and I'm gonna tell the truth in the videos that I make and uh, MK11 ain't it and Combat Pack 3 is not fucking saving that neither will uh, Combat Pack 4, 5, Aftermath Part 2 or Ed Boon's special guest character DLC uh, model is mocap it's just not doing it and uh, I think we should all stop freaking out about it. That's why you're not going to see an insane Mortal Kombat uh, Combat Pack 3 leak on my channel. Uh, insane Combat Pack 4 leak. Insane Ed Boom's dog just leaked Aftermath Part 2 video on my channel. Because nothing is saving this game at this point for me. But these are just my personal opinions, man. If you enjoy Mortal Kombat 11, then by all means, get back out there, pick your man, and start kicking some ass. But it's not for me, and it's not for a lot of the competitive players in this community. And I really can't wait for them to move on. But for those of you who are interested in having a conversation about it, agree, disagree, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to respond to every comment on this video. I'm not very good about checking comments as I'm trying to get streams done and uh, improving the channel. Uh, so I'm really bad about reading and responding to comments. And I do apologize for that. But I will do my best to get back to every comment on this video. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I know I was a little bit harsh in this video. And I kind of spoke my mind. Might get me into a little bit of trouble, but it's okay. I'm big boy. I do want to give a huge shout out to my supporters, YSM Dino, The Thinny, Master Vex PC, Sir D, Frank the Tank H2O, Ricky Laughlin, and Patrick Thompson. You guys are fucking legends. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. But I've been your host. My name is Tootin, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.